Tell me. Do you bleed? Welcome to Red's Effects, the same show that is now officially going to be brought into the canon of the DC Cinematic Universe. It's not. Anyway, today the effect we are tackling is Superman Heat Vision. Now, there have been many incarnations of this effect, but the one we are focusing on is the one portrayed in the 2013 film Man of Steel, or more recently, Batman vs Superman. Now this effect is all in Hit Film 4 Express, but if you didn't participate in Force Month, which is what happened in December 2015, you probably won't be able to have this effect in your version of Hit Film 4 Express. Now let me explain what Force Month was. So back in 2015 when Star Wars The Force Awakens was coming out, HitFilm hosted a Force Month in which they gave all the HitFilm 3 Express users a free copy of their light sword effect, which allows you to make lightsabers. Now if you participated in that and downloaded that free effect for that month only, when you purchased or downloaded for free HitFilm 4 Express, your purchase or free download of that effect would have transferred over. If you didn't, unfortunately, you're going to have to buy that effect in a standalone pack and no one really wants to spend money. So if you didn't get the effect in either one of those two ways, either buying the effect with your own money as an add-on pack or getting it because of the force month, you won't be able to do this effect in Hit from 4 Express. Damn it! But if you did, sweet, because this effect looks really good for a free piece of software. Now. What you're gonna need to do is download the download pack from the description because I went ahead and made a heat vision preset using the light sword effect customizing it and I don't wanna read you all these different numbers so you have to make it yourself. So what I did was I made a preset and then also in the download pack there's also a heat vision sound like you saw in the opening sketch as well as a Superman heat up sound for his eyes and there's also a text document that you can open on a Windows computer only unfortunately that tells you how to install presets again on a Windows computer. So you have no excuse, go download the preset, look at the text file, install it, and we can jump into Headphone 4 Express and do it. Okay, here we are back in Headphone 4 Express. Now I have my footage set up in a comp and ready to be heated up. But before we start heat visioning, we have to make sure that the beams will stick to our eyes once they are in the shot. And that means tracking the eyes. So with my footage layer selected, I'll head to the controls panel and click the plus icon over here next to tracker. Making sure that I'm at the beginning of my clip, I'll move the green box in the tracker window over to my right eye and resize it to fit over the eye. This indicates what area needs to be searched for our object. Then I'll move the red box over my eye and resize it to fit. This indicates what objects need to be tracked. Now I'll hit track forward. I'll stop it here, just when I want the heat vision to stop. To store the tracking data, I'll click the plus icon and create a new point calling it right eye. I'll then go back to my tracker, select the point layer inside the tracker and hit apply. Then just repeat for your other eye. Now at this point I'm going to assume you've downloaded and installed the preset because we're about to use it. Click the plus icon once again and create a new plane. Change the color to black and call it beam. Now head to the effects panel and head all the way down to presets and drop the heat vision preset onto the player. And bam! We now have a sweet beam of heat vision. Now change the blend mode of the plane to add so we can see the beam on top of our footage. Now head to the controls panel, go to effects, light sword and turn it off. Select the hill point and place it on the center of your right eye. Now place the end point in the direction and position of where you want your beam to go. Depends on your shot really, wherever you want the beam to end up. 
turn the effect back on and you can also customize the thickness and core size as well as the glow to suit yourself and your shot. Now head to the position of both the hilt and tip points on the light sword effect controls and parent them to your right eye point layer. Now it'll stick to your right eye. You can now duplicate the light sword effect and change the position so that it comes out of your left eye. Then, just like first time, change the parent in the hilt and tip settings to your left eye point. And there you go, you now have two Superman laser beams. But there's a problem, the heat vision just suddenly appears. And we don't want that, we have to animate it. So, turn down the extension on both light sword effects and head to the point at which you want the beams to burst out of your eyes. Turn on keyframing for both extensions in both effects and head forward around 3 to 4 frames. Then, rack the extension up 100%. Now we can't only have heat vision coming out of his eyes, because we, as we see in the movies, he also has some light flares going on, so we have to add that also. Click the plus icon yet again and create a new plane. Make it black and call it flares. Now search for the light flares effect in the effects panel and add it to the plane. Now to change some settings. Change the flare type to digital stripe, the scale to 650 pixels or whatever covers your eye fully. In global, change the hue to 170 and the saturation to around 1.75. Now go into hotspot position and parent it to your right eye point layer. Now just move it into place over your right eye. Duplicate the effect and change the parent to your left eye and move it into place. You can also change the scale and other settings to fit your eye. Now hit the point where your beam starts coming out of your eye and turn on keyframing for intensity on both light flares effects. Back it down to zero. Head forward two frames and rack it up to 1 on both. Now head forward 2 more frames and change it back down to 0.5. We do this so that the flare stays constant but also gives us a big burst of light when those flares pop out of the eyes. At the end of your shot just reverse engineer the whole process. Keyframe the extensions of the beams back down to 0, keyframe the flares back to 0, and finally, we are finished. And there you have it guys, simple, easy, fresh, heat vision, heat from 4Express. I'm moving my hands around a lot. If you have any requests or any effects you want to see happen, leave it in the comments down below, send me a tweet, or even leave a comment on my pictures on Instagram, you can follow me on those too. You can subscribe down below, join the army, join the forces, and um, also like the video down below. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, go heat vision some things, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.